Hi, and welcome back to the course. Let's check out two most popular freelancing platforms. You can sign up for Fiverr and start your freelancing journey there, or you can sign up for Upwork. On both platforms, you can set your own rates. Uh, and on Fiverr, you basically, the freelancing business works like this. So basically you create gigs for each service that you want to offer. And then the clients contact you. And on Upwork, you actually write proposals to jobs posted by companies or by other people. This is the only difference between two, these two platforms. But let's check out some of the high earners uh, for those same services that we mentioned before. So if you check out copywriting, and we can be a little bit more specific, we can, for example, see sales copy. You see that some of these freelancers are charging $160 for one sales copy. This guy is a top rated seller. He had over 120 orders, five star reviews, and he will write a 200 word sales copy for $160. So you can just imagine the potential if you combine ChatGPT with this type of service, because you can use ChatGPT as your main tool and you can write this sales copy within seconds. So for 600 word, he would charge 480 and for 1,200 words, he would charge $960. And there are others. So this guy had over thousand orders. He's also a top rated seller, but he's charging um, by the number of words. So for 50 words, he would charge $35 and so on. For 200 words, he would charge $125. We can check out email copywriting as well. So this guy is also doing email copywriting and you see that he's charging a lot of money. So two emails for $100 five email sequence, which we did in a previous lecture, he's charging $250 for that. We can check out some other services. So for example, digital marketing, so social media marketing, social content, for example, we can do Instagram and you can check out the competition here. So this freelancer, she is a level two seller and she will write 10 quality posts for $140, 15 posts for $180 and 30 posts for $209. So if you really want to differentiate yourself from others and from your competition, you can always charge less. That way you can get clients, you can get good reviews. And once you establish yourself in a certain area, then you can charge higher rates and you can have higher pricing. Any category that you can think of, you can offer those services on Fiverr. And for most of these categories, you can use ChatGPT to help you. Even with video editing or script writing, you can use ChatGPT for that. Lead generation, we mentioned that. Writing a business plan even. Ad copy, sales copy, social media copy speech writing. And if you go to Upwork, you can also find talent. So if you go under articles and blog posts, you can check out the prices here and you can check out your competition. But as I mentioned before, Upwork works a little bit differently because you write proposals and you apply to jobs that are posted by companies or other people. But I see that Upwork added these gigs as well, just like Fiverr. So you can immediately go and hire some freelancer. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to the course. So let's check out some of the best practices to follow when you're working with ChatGPT. And especially if you want to use ChatGPT as your main tool for freelancing. So whatever output that you produce with ChatGPT, you always need to check the work. ChatGPT is not perfect. It can make mistakes. 
it can even make math mistakes. So you always need to check the work and see if the information is correct. Because ChatGPT is still learning, some of the data is still limited. And this is why if you write a certain prompt to tell you about the recent trends, you might get the data and information that is outdated. So that's why you need to rely on your judgment and expertise, especially if, if you are writing about a specific topic. So always read the work and then decide if this is a, the good output or not. In order to get better output, of course, try to write specific detailed prompts. As I showed you before, try to be as specific as possible, write as many details, and you will get a better output from ChatGPT. Also always focus on generating unique content. Even if you get something from ChatGPT, try to edit the content a little bit. Try to change some of the sentences, Try to add your own personality to the content. And this is how you will generate unique content. And it's always a good idea to combine ChatGPT with other tools. So if you are a video producer or videographer, you can always combine ChatGPT with some other AI tools for video editing and optimization. Uh, you can also combine ChatGPT with Canva for design and social media editing. There are so many useful AI tools, but in order to produce a unique content, always try to combine ChatGPT with something else. I hope this lecture was useful. Thank you for watching.